Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lynn. Uh, if you're new here, please go down and hit the like and subscribe button. Also turn on your notification bell so that you will be notified each and every time I upload a video. For those of you that have come back, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys more than you will ever know. I feel like I have made so many new friends since I started my channel. And the love and support you have shown me is amazing. I could never, ever thank you enough. Um, today, I am going to be filming my collab that goes up Thursday with Amanda Duh. And I thought maybe... You guys might be interested in seeing how I created the eye look that I came, that I'm coming up with for that video. So I thought I would record it for you in case you guys wanted to recreate it, or maybe it would inspire you to come up with a creation of your own. The palette that I'm going to be using is my Peachy Queen Kush Queen palette. As you all know, I have loved this palette very much since I got it. I use it quite frequently. There's a reminder of what the colors are. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is going to be a very basic, easy look, but I think it's very pretty. Kind of summertime-y beach vibes is what I was getting when I was thinking about it. Hope it turns out that way. I'm going to start off with this pink, the indica, and basically I am just going to put it all over my lid on both sides, just completely cover my lids. For those of you that have followed me, you know how much I love glitter. Uh, actually, this will be one look, one of the very few looks you probably ever see me do where I don't use a glitter or a foil topper of any kind. I'm trying to let the colors speak for themselves. So, we got the pink there. Very pretty, very bold. These colors are very pigmented and they go on very easy. The next, uh, the next color that I'm going to use is this orange northern lights right down here at the bottom. I'm using just a, a thin brush because I just want to make a thin line right over top. Of the pink. Right over top of the pink. I want that orange to pop out. Um, just got back in town last night. Had a nice little getaway for my birthday. Got to go down and spend time with my favorite cousin and his other half had a great time. Really enjoyed it. Wish I could have stayed longer. Can't wait to go back. Um, with that same brush, I'm going to go in right behind with this white rhino, which is actually a really pretty yellow color. Um, I'm not sure why they call it White Rhino, but they do, but it is actually a very gorgeous, I don't know if you can see that, that was just with one swipe of the, of the pen, a very gorgeous, gorgeous yellow, and I'm just making another little line right over top of the orange um, 
I'm going to then take one of my small blending brushes and kind of blend it out, soften up the edges a bit so the colors kind of come together without without uh, without taking away from any one of them but helping them meld together just a little bit And then I'm going to take that same brush, and I'm going to take the bu the blue bubble cush, and I'm going to do the underneath of my eye. These colors are so pigmented and they go on so effortlessly. I think this is the easiest palette I've ever worked with. And I know I haven't been working with color long, but I absolutely adore this palette. Look at those colors. Just, just look at them. And that basically is it. Four step look. And you got. I might want to add. Just. A slight bit more pink. Make the pink pop out. Just a little bit more. In my waterline. I'm going to use my NYX. Jumbo eye pencil in the color cobalt. Kind of just accentuate the blue that I used under my eye. And then I'm just going to take my Physician's Formula Mascara, do a light coating, not going for anything too dramatic with my eyelashes. I kind of want my colors to stand out and speak for themselves. I love this mascara too, by the way. I just used it for the first time last week. And I have used it every day since then. Um, I have a very hard time with mascaras, but this one hasn't let me down yet. Um, of course, uh, now I'm going to use my Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter in Pearl just to add a little spark to the cheeks. Can you guys see that? I think I brought it down just a little too far, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm a highlighter person. I love highlighter. Accent a little bit on my nose. 
Um, of course, you know, it wouldn't be a video for me if I did not use my cover FX to... Add a pop of brightener into the inner corner of my eyes. Slight bit. Slight bit under my jaw. I mean under my eyebrow bone. Eyebrow bone. Just to accentuate a little bit. Look at that pop. In the inner corner of my eyes. That is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm going to go in with my Folklore blush. I like this blush. It's got... You can go as light or as dark as you want. Depending on how you're feeling that day. And it's basically a three or four shade in one. You don't gotta have a bunch of different colors with you. Just one little thing. I'm going to be finishing it off with my Revolutions lipstick in the color Date. Um, I usually tend to go with. Nude shades. On my lips. But this was speaking to me. Like I said, I was trying to go with a kind of summertime beach vibe. And the lipstick matched the pink in my eyes. Almost perfectly. I'm going to top it off with my Too Faced. Dance off, pants off. Lip gloss. Give it that little bit of pop. Of course, you know, you can always put the glitter or the foil topper or whatever in your eyes if you're like me and you love glitter you usually do but for some reason I think this look speaks for itself without the glitter tell me what you think down in the comments summertime vibes what do you think um anyways until next time love hugs so glad to be back. I have missed you guys. I had no service out there while I was going. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.